I like to ask technicians, would you replace this wheel speed sensor if it just feels bad? No, it has a specification, right? If it's between 1500 and 2500 ohms, it's most likely good. That's what the specification is. The manufacturer gives us the specification. Air conditioning is no different. The manufacturers will give us the specification on what it's supposed to do for performance on given days. So let's see how to do that. All right, let me show you real quick how to fill out the AC performance sheet. At the top, it's asking you for your ambient temperature. So today is 90 and the humidity. Uh, the humidity I put for 30 here today. Uh, you can use a humidity probe or you can uh, check the weather on your phone and get the local humidity, get you pretty close. All right, and then we got a checklist. Are the AC filters clean? Yep, we got a prep today, so there are no fault codes. You know, inactive and active, they can all affect performance. And if the cr uh, compressor clutch does not come on, it gives you a couple things to check also, clutch gap and voltage and whatnot. Our AC does run, so I'm not going to bother with that. The most important part of the sheet is right here, the conditions. Freightliner says that if you do all this, it's this temperature, this is what we should get out of it. So you have to have the hood and the doors open. Allow the system to stabilize for 10 minutes. Usually if the clutch starts cycling, you know, in five minutes, then I can start taking my readings. Uh, 10 minutes is just a baseline. Engine idling at 1500. Um, so just run it at 1500. Fan locked on, the engine fan locked on. You can do that by unplugging the fan solenoid. Main and bunk fans on high. Fresh air mode, AC on high. So I, one question I get a lot on this is, if we're checking to see what the best performance is on the air conditioner, why do we have the windows open, the doors open, and why are we on fresh air mode instead of recirculate? And the answer is we just want to put the biggest load on the system as possible. So make sure to do all that. All right. The next little chart here has three columns. Published readings. This is what we're going to fill out from below here. This is what Freightliner says it should do today. Readings before the repair, this is what we're going to get off the first test. That tells us if there is a problem or not. If you do find a problem and fix it, then you fill out the third column, readings after the repair. Because we don't want to turn a truck free if it does not pass. If it never passes, there's still something wrong, right? So in order to figure out what the readings are supposed to be, we go to publish readings and we go down here. So the first column is ambient air temp. We had 90, so that's all um, this area here. And then it asks for the humidity. So I got 25, 50, or 70. So I'm at 30, so I'm going to pick the 25. So I put a star right next to the readings I want. All right. So it's saying my dash temperature should be 46. 46 is usually a hard number to hit. So I usually tell my guys go plus or minus 10%. 10% is 4.6. We'll just say 5. So 46 plus 5 would be 51. 46 minus 5 would be 41. So I'm looking for somewhere between 41 and 51 for my dash outlet temperature. All right, go across. My high side is going to say 165. Again, hard to hit. So I'll just go plus or minus 16 on that because 10% is 16.5. So that is high side. We'll do a plus 16 first, which would be 181. Minus 16 would be 149. So on my high side pressure, if I'm between 149 and 181, I'd call it good. And then on my low side, it's plus or minus 23. And I would usually go just plus or minus 2.3 on that. So we'll just say 2. So. 23 minus 2 is 21. 23 plus 2 is 25. And then the next column tells us should the clutch be cycling? Uh, no, it should be on steady. So no cycling on steady. All right. If I was up in the lower temperatures, you could see it would be cycling on 8 seconds, off 8 seconds at this particular one. So these are the numbers Freightliner says it should do today. Let's run the test and see what we get. Okay, so here you can see the truck is idling. 
And you're at idle up here in just a second. We got it at 1500. Now what you want to watch is you want to get the lowest reading off of the low side. And you want to get the highest reading off of the high side. So if you have little fluctuations, just get the lowest on the low side, the highest on the high side. Right. Remember what we wrote down on our performance sheet. This is what Freightliner says it should be today. Let's start matching it up. Our temperature is dropping. It's already in range. But you see it's still dropping. I like to get the lowest temperature out of the dash. The high side's reading about 155, 160, and that's in range. Low side's reading about 25, and that's at the very top end of the range. So everything is falling into spec here already, and it's only been running for just a few minutes. Clutch is on steady. So in this situation, I'm just going to write in the sheet. So where my before readings, I'm going to write down the lowest setting there on the thermometer, which is going to be about, I think it gets down to about 45. Write 25 on the low side, and I'd write 155 on the high side. And I'd scan it in the repair order and say, no problem found. And the AC performance sheet is proof of that.